You're very welcome back to the final part of the show. Owen Sheehan is on standby with tonight's grub. Owen, remind us what you're cooking. So tonight we are doing um, grilled chicken skewers. So again, probably for the kind of summer weather for a barbecue or even at home, we pop into the oven or the grill. Um, and the main thing is kind of show some simple basics that can be transcribed to other parts of barbecues at home then. So a marinade is, I've been asked this question more this week than I will in the next two years in, you know, what's a really easy <laughs> marinade to do. So I have chicken in a bowl here in front of me that could be uh, beef, could be pork, could be fish, could be anything at all. It could be veggies even. So we'll do about two tablespoons of just olive oil. Okay, just in on top. Yeah. So a marinade always kind of has, it has a fat source, it has a citrus source, uh, kind of spice, and then some herbs. So it's always kind of similar, and that changes depending on the dish then itself, okay? So the oil, we're going to pop in two garlic cloves. We'll do the juice of one lemon. So again, that's our oil, that's our kind of flavor, that's our citrus coming from the lemon. And then our fresh herbs will be some mint, okay? So just pop that in, some fresh coriander. And then I'll do just a little smidgen of our, our uh, oregano, or it could just be mixed herbs, and a little bit of paprika, okay? So pop that in, small bit of salt and pepper, and give that a, just a stir and a toss. And I suppose the best thing for marinades, if you can give it three hours, great. If you can give it 24 hours, fantastic. The longer it can sit in those juices and marinade, the more tender and the more, I suppose, flavor you're gonna pack into that meat source itself, okay? So that's going to go into my fridge over here. I'm popping out one that I made earlier. So you can see that chicken has been sitting and storing in that fat. Oh, yeah. And you have this beautiful kind of mixture of all those flavors and spices. So what we'll do is we'll get a skewer. We'll get just any veg at all. I have some bell pepper and I have some onion here. It could be courgettes. It could be mushrooms. It could be aubergines. Whatever you have at home in the fridge that needs to be used usually okay. is a good rule of thumb, right? So we'll start with a bit of veg. Get one of the chicken pieces. Okay, so just keep one hand for the chicken so I can clean it in a minute. Get a little bit of onion in on top and just repeat that process then. So again, great to do with kids at home. You can vary them all. And if you have a vegetarian in the house, you can leave the chicken off one and just keep doing your um, keep doing your meat veg one for other people or yeah. the veggies for other than again. So again, just keep building them up one by one. And what we'll do is we'll pop them on a tray. Okay, so I'm just going to pop them to the side. That will go onto a tray. Bake that either in the oven, pop it on the grill, or put it into the barbecue. And let's leave it on top. 10, 15 minutes will do. Just make sure the chicken is fully cooked and you get a really nice kind of nice barbecue uh, color yeah. on them. And when they come out, what you're looking at is these beautiful um, skewers. So again, they're perfect. They're great as they are. They're great as, you know, with a dip or on the go or the store fantastic in the fridge itself, okay? So what we can do is we can just pop them off the sticks themselves, like so. They're ready to go. And again, you can do that in bulk and in batches. And it's a great way as well to cook your meat and your veggies to suit the barbecue weather, okay? So to go with that, we're gonna make a sauce. And a really simple sauce to make is um, this kind of yogurt-based sauce or, or tzatziki. And it's often kind of associated with uh, Greek, Greek yeah. food. Yeah. So we have just some Greek yogurt, cucumber, mint and garlic, okay? So uh, yogurt, cucumber, mint, one crushed clove of garlic, a little bit of lemon juice, if you have it. Pop that in, give it a stir. And that is a really simple tzatziki made. So again, goes great with chicken, goes great with grilled meats in particular. So give that a nice stir, store it in the fridge. And it's a, fat, it's a great kind of cooling sauce too. So if you have a like spicy food or yeah. you'd often see it with like a kind of hot curry or, or curry chicken, something like that. Okay, so it's fantastic as a base layer in a second to our pittas. Oh, and it's a good idea to give element, that a bit of time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So again, put it in there, get it in the fridge, and that'll stay cool in for a long time. And in the last element, and again, perfect with different dishes, and I've made this tons of times on the show, it's, it's couscous. So we have it here. It comes in a dry kind of starch form. Okay, so just add the double quantity of water to that. So if you have 100 grams of couscous, add 200 grams of uh, hot water or yeah. hot stock. Cover it for about two minutes. That'll absorb all of that stock. Give it just kind of a run with a fork and flake it up. You get this beautiful light salad. It can be eaten hot or cold. And then from there, just to kind of give this another element of uh, texture, we'll do a little bit of lemon juice. Plenty of zest today. And then I have a beautiful, colorful plate here in front of me. And I have some bell pepper, 
some coriander, some spring onions, tomatoes, and feta cheese. Okay. okay. Again, as we said a while ago, whatever you have at home in the fridge, use them up. But again, it's kind of, it's the kind of veggies, it's the herbs, it's a little bit of cheese. Pop that in. But yeah, that, that's a great on oil. Its own. Exactly, that's a great salad by itself. That's, yeah. that's As brilliant a, yeah, to go to. Exactly, and that's, that's kind of why I wanted to showkiss it here. It's a fantastic one too. I always use it at home, especially in the fine weather. It's a lovely one to do. And goes great with fish, goes great with chicken. It goes great with everything, really, to be honest. Yeah, so, delicious. So to kind of build these pitas up, the final element, we have these beautiful kind of flatbreads or pitas here. We'll take some of that. I'll try and do this towards the camera so you can see. <laughs> Take some of that yogurt base. On the bottom, we'll bring in our meat from here. So again, you're just kind of building the base of these pitas, like so. And then any kind of salad you have at home, I have a little bit of coleslaw just from earlier on. Bring that in, bring it on top. And again, they're fantastic. You can do up a bunch of them, bring it to a barbecue, bring it to a picnic, and in this kind of weather, you're getting loads of kind of different elements, different flavors, uh, components there, but they're really, really tasty. And then a great, lovely, light and fresh side salad in with the couscous itself, okay? That's so a monster on. feed. Delicious. That is, that's, I, I really wish while, you were here, dinner, Owen. <laughs> I know, I was like, that's genuinely his dinner tonight. <laughs> genuinely is my dinner, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that looks so, so good and perfect for the weather. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's the main thing. We don't, we don't want the heavy curries or the bolognese or stews in this weather. So things that are light, things that are quick, things that we kind of pop in the barbecue with all our veggies. And you're getting a lot of nutrients there as well. And it's a big thing when the hot weather, our appetites go down. So, you know, we can go a few days eating very little and then... At oh, oh, he just stopped. Give him a boot of bus. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>